State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Forgery of Imperial documents. Possession of stolen property. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Yes, sir. Felicity, how are you? Very well, thanks. How are you? This is a rebellion, isn't it? How cool is it for you to be part of this amazing franchise? Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be uh, part of such a huge franchise, but also telling a very special story and a story that's rooted in character. And, and I think everyone is going to really care about this, this set of characters and, and want them to succeed. I just saw that there's lots of creatures, lots of droids, lots of, you know, funny creatures around. So beyond the set, everything was like practical, right? They do everything for real, so. It is, it is very much, uh, I feel like um, since Christopher Nolan, there's been much more of an emphasis on, as you say, practical, making it as real as possible and not relying too much on CGI. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a huge element of CGI, but I think audiences are very clever and, and they feel a little bit distanced when mm. there's too much. And so it's trying to keep it rooted in authenticity. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. Do you remember any particular creature that got your attention? Oh, well, I have a little friend. <laughs> uh, he has sort of many tentacles coming from his where his nose would be. That all, and it's amazing. They they actually move. So it's almost it's, it, they're, they're these incredible puppets. Uh -huh. They are requesting a call sign. It's um rogue, rogue one. So for you as an actress, I suppose it's more. I, I, not easy, but more comfortable being a real set with real extras, and you know you can feel the dust, the the humidity, everything is there. So, so how cool is that? Oh, I love that. I I, I love kind of getting completely immersed in, in what you're doing and I think the audience feel that and I feel like when you watch it you'll feel like you're actually there. You want the audience to feel like they're in the you know in the U-wing or, or running along in the sand and, and I and I think we've achieved that. Mm -hmm. There's I, I remember in, in the Star Wars universe the only close thing to a tropical thing was the Endor Moon in, in the Return of the Jedi. But now we have like a huge tropical planet. So where did you shoot that? How was shoot there? Oh, it was, we were in the Maldives for a week. Um, we got to see a whale shark, which was pretty spectacular after we'd finished shooting it was <laughs> late at night. And then everyone, the crew and the cast, we were all kind of mesmerized by this beautiful creature. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, uh, we, oh, it was fantastic. And because we, we wanted to get the very specific light uh -huh. um, as the sun was going down for, for certain moments in the film. And, and so to shoot in the real locations, I think makes makes film really beautiful rather than, you know, trying to kind of imitate mm. it on a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looks amazing. There is a 97.6% chance of failure. He means well. How do you create a strong character who is sensitive at the same time? Uh, well, I feel like you... Gosh, I mean, if I, <laughs> if I knew how to describe that. I do, a lot of it is instinct. Mm -hmm. It's pure instinct. And um, doing your research as well. And then just playing when you're on set and, and, and trusting, trusting the homework and trusting the other actors around you. Mm -hmm. And you need it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. May the force be with us.